Hey, it's Jared. The Oculus 2 was probably one of the biggest gifts for 2021. And going into 2022, we're gonna see the Oculus become more of a mainstay in people's homes. The Oculus 2 Quest is a fantastic gaming device. I have really enjoyed it just for playing games. I enjoy playing games, but the games these days, a lot of them are just too involved and take too much time. And I, I just want something that I could jump into. When the Nintendo Wii came out, it was great because you could just jump into a game, have some fun. I feel like the Oculus Quest 2 is that device for me right now. But there are some accessories that improve the experience of it. And so I even ordered a few extra things. I just wanted to try out some different accessories just to see what could make the experience better. I'd say the first thing that anybody needs to get is this attachment that goes onto the Oculus that replaces the default strap that goes around the back of your head. When I put on the Oculus for the first time, I thought, oh, this is not that comfortable. I'm probably not going to want to play this for very long. And then, you know, you've seen a lot of fails online where people, the Oculus goes flying off somebody's head or they uh, jerk their head and it falls off or something and the Oculus hits the ground. We definitely don't want that to happen. And so with a device like this, not only is it going to attach to your head in a more secure fashion, but you're going to get additional battery life out of this as well. This device is directly uh, from Oculus themselves or Meta or whatever you want to call them these days. Uh, but this is an external battery and also a better way of just attaching the Oculus uh, so that when you're wearing it, it's more comfortable and more secure. Let's take a look at that. So I'll turn this dial backwards just to open it up a little bit and I'll slide the Oculus on and then I'll turn the dial just to tighten it up just a little bit to where it fits nice and snug. And this is much, much better. I mean, uh, this is not gonna fall off. It's much more secure on my head and I'm getting a, a battery charge at the same time so that I have longer gameplay. And that's important because some of these games are getting more processor intensive and the battery life, you don't get that two and a half hour battery life with some of these games out of the Oculus Quest when you're playing them. And so having the external battery means more gameplay uh, or being able to share your Oculus with others, which we got an Oculus for our kids for Christmas so that we could play games together. This one is mine, and so we want to make sure that uh, we have extra battery so that when one kid's done, they could pass it to the other, and you know we don't have arguments and all that fun stuff. So this probably being one of the first things that I would get just to help secure the Oculus and also to give it additional battery charge. I'll make sure to link to all the things that I talk about today in the description below. So the next thing I'd say adds to the experience of playing games on an Oculus is a set of headphones. Logitech Tech has a set of headphones that are Oculus ready. Basically what that means is they're a set of headphones that came with a cable that's appropriately length for the Oculus. And you know, wearing headphones, I would only do that in a safe place where I knew I, what, I didn't need to listen to anything around me because when you're gaming with headphones on and you've taken away your ability to see your environment, you're susceptible and you're not gonna know what's going on in your environment. So in an, a time when I could play a game and know that I'm in a safe spot and that nobody around me needs anything, I would put on these headphones and just get a more immersive game experience. Not using headphones is probably safer, but also it just takes you out of the experience because you hear noise and everything that's going on in the background, um, which takes you out of the immersive experience that is VR in the first place. So how does this work? Well, you take the headphones, which have a little adapter, and you plug them into this cable that came with the Logitech headphones. And so let's go ahead and plug them in. And I'll remove my glasses and we'll put Oculus on. And it's hard to see the headphones through the little camera here because it's so close, but we'll go ahead and slide those over. And now I feel much more in the space than before. With the headphones on, the sound and everything that's coming through the Oculus, I feel much more immersed in what's going on. And these are really comfortable. They don't interfere with anything that is going on around me. I don't feel like these are pushing or pulling on the Oculus at all. This is a very 
comfortable experience for me. And so if I was playing a game, maybe uh, even Beat Saber or um, any of those games that uh, have music, this would be a much better experience for that just because you'd have great audio experience combined with a good visual experience as well. So headphones are a great addition as well. I mean, you don't have to get these headphones. What's nice about these headphones is that the design doesn't get in the way of the Oculus itself and it comes with a nice cable that is the right length. So if you're looking for some dedicated headphones, these Logitech headphones are a great option. So if you have kids or you let other people use your Oculus, you might want to consider something like one of these wraps that goes around and covers up the majority of the Oculus controller. I've put these on controllers that we've had in the past, such as, well, I'm, the Apple TV remotes in my house have uh, some sort of a rubber coating on them. Um, when we had the Nintendo Wii rubber coating on those, uh, and what that does is it gives something that you can wash easily and clean off, and it also adds some grippability. And that's what this does. This adds a grip. You can see here's the original here without a grip on it. But the grip goes over, and then you have a nice wrist Strap that's adjustable so that you can really hold on tight. Of course, you have the strap that is attached to the Oculus controller uh, from the factory, but that doesn't really help you. I mean, if you, you can let go of the controller and it's not going to fall, but this is actually going to help you hold the controller onto your hand a lot better. And so uh, if you're playing some of those games where maybe you're punching or you're swinging the control around a lot, this is going to help you keep a better grip on it. And it's also going to help keep your control cleaner uh, because a lot of people's hands make for things that get kind of gross. And so this is something that you can easily take off and clean up. Uh, just to show you them side by side, we've got with and without. And so I like the fact that it covers up just what it needs to cover up. It doesn't cover up the entire thing and it doesn't cover up any of the sensors or any of the buttons. Everything has nice clearances. And of course, this is fully adjustable. Regardless of the size of your hand, it's going to fit fantastic. I think this is a great option. Charging your Oculus is obviously going to be an issue, and this Anchor charging dock is pretty stinking cool. Now, your Oculus is a device that's kind of awkward to put away, and so you could put it in a case, which we're going to look at a couple of cases here in a second, but if you want it in a charging fashion and it's hard to charge it in a case, um, this dock here charges it and everything, and it's fantastic the way that it works out. Um, it has additional plates that that it comes with. So you can see on the side of the Oculus, there's these little tabs on this plate and there's a battery inside that's rechargeable. And so now when you slide your Oculus controls into the dock, they start to charge. You slide your Oculus into the dock and it starts to charge as well. So what's really cool is that they used magnetic technology in order to accomplish this. So there's a little USB type C tab that you plug in here and when you dock your oculus quest into the dock it connects right here and it starts to charge it and so you just leave this in there all the time now the problem with this dock is that it's not going to be compatible with the um the external battery that we looked at it was the very first thing in this video um, which has to be plugged in here if you did want to use the external battery that i showed at the very beginning you could still use it but you just won't be able to charge the external battery with the anchor dock you can only charge the quest 2 with the dock so you can attach the little adapter here and charge the quest and then you'd have to charge the external battery separate. So if you're going to go with the external battery, um, this probably is not going to be the best option, this anchor charger. Of course, it will do a great job at charging your controls, but it won't do as good of a job at charging the Quest because it's not designed to work with the external battery pack. But if the external battery pack is not for you and you're going to go with the standard Quest here uh, and you want a charging dock, the anchor dock is absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, compatibility issues there. Another compatibility issue is the fact that you're not going to be able to use those grips that we just looked at prior to looking at the anchor charging device because the grips would cover up the charging pads here. The charging pads here have to be visible and they're going to have to touch the contact points on the anchor dock itself. Without that, no charging is going to happen. So if you want to use the anchor dock, you're going to have to use the Oculus Quest in its original configuration. It's best with the Oculus Quest as it comes out of the box and the controls as well 
well, with the exception of swapping out the plates that the Anchor Dock comes with that have the charging contact points on it. So the Anchor Dock is great, but only great if you're going to leave everything in its original configuration. So now let's talk about protective cases for your Oculus Quest 2. Uh, if you're wanting to transport it or even just store it safely, you're going to need a case for it. Unless you purchase the case that comes directly from Oculus, some of these aftermarket cases are great alternatives, and I think the design and styling of them is a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of the Oculus case. It's just a little egg-shaped, and it's not going to stack very well with anything else. So this first case we're going to look at is made of a, a hard canvas material. It uh, has a little bit of forgiveness, but it is pretty stiff. And um, I, I like this case so far. It comes with uh, its own strap here, but it also comes with a shoulder strap. And it looks like it also comes with an additional rubber gasket that can go around the face. And then it also comes with um, a cap for the eyepiece. And so the eyepiece, which can off often be uh, kind of gunked up because it's a lens that uh, collects things like my glasses do. This case uh, makes it really nice because it has that and then it also is molded to fit your Oculus. So let's go ahead and put the Oculus in here like so. The Oculus fits really nice and it slides right in. So as you can see, the Oculus fits right in there and then there's room for the controllers as well. So we'll go ahead and pop our controllers out and there we go. So what I do like about this case is the, the Oculus case, I, trying to get the controls into that weird little configuration where they're nested is really a pain and it takes a little bit of time every single time. And I always get it, but it takes a little bit of time. This case here, everything fits really nice. It has a strap right in the middle, so it holds everything in place. And then I can close this and zip it up and everything is nice and secure in there. And I can carry this away. I could put this on a shelf. I'm gonna feel better about everything being in a case like this because it has a good amount of protection. If you were gonna travel with this, if you're gonna take it in the car, you were gonna uh, take it somewhere with you, I would feel safer about having my Oculus in a case like this that has some sturdiness all the way around it than even the standard Oculus case that you can purchase directly from them. No case at all means things are gonna get inside the lens. I think the controls are gonna get banged around. Everything's gonna end up being damaged because it is kind of an awkward device without some way to store it. And then one last case, which has a little bit of a different shape, um, not as uh, rectangular or square as that one. This one is definitely more rigid. So let's take a look at this case and see what it has. Well, it also has a little eye patch cover for the Oculus, which is nice. And then it has a little soft bag here that you could probably throw your cables and stuff in separately. All right, so let's go ahead and put the Oculus in here. It has a little strap that would go over the Oculus just to kind of hold it in place. So we're gonna slide the Oculus right in here and We've got the strap for that. And then the controls have little slip areas here with some elastic to hold them in place. I really like that because that's gonna hold them nice and tight so that they're not gonna be flopping around inside the case. All right, so there we go. We've got everything mounted inside the case. We'll go ahead and close it up and zip it. Definitely a little bit more room in there than the other case, but that's fine. If you had a couple of cables or small set of headphones or something like that you wanted to put in there, you were definitely gonna be able to fit those inside of this case. Uh, the other case might have a little bit of room for that, but not a ton. So which Oculus Quest 2 accessories do I recommend? Well, I recommend the external battery because you'll get more gameplay, and I think this is just an overall more comfortable experience. I recommend a headset of some sort. I've got the Logitech headset linked below, and a good case for your Oculus. Other than that, I don't think there's really anything else that you need for this experience. The one last thing that I will talk about is some good rechargeable batteries. If you're not gonna go with the Anchor charging dock that I uh, showed you earlier, some good AA batteries that are rechargeable are a great option. And these EBL rechargeable batteries that actually have a USB port in the side of them to make them really easy to charge are a great option. That means that all you have to do is pop the cover off the side of your Oculus controls and just plug in the charging cable. You don't have to remove the batteries at all. You just have to remove the cover 
driver and plug in the little charging cable. When you order a set of these four batteries, they come with a USB breakout adapter that allows you to charge all four of them with one USB cable. So a great experience, not needing external charging devices, just a simple little cable. These EBL batteries are a fantastic option for rechargeable batteries. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for checking it out. If there's an accessory or something that you've got for your Oculus Quest 2 that you think is just a must have, share it with me down in the comment section below. New accessories are coming out all the time, so I'll probably come back with a part two to this video in the next couple of months. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel here so that you can be notified when we put out new videos. But that's going to do it for today. Thanks so much, and I hope to see you back in another one soon. Take care.